Hi everyone, today I just want to share a testimony of how God is so protective of us as his children. The Bible says that he gives his angels charge over us and this is a testimony just to show you how real this promise of God is. So the testimony is in two parts. Firstly, I was praying for a girl who had some difficulties uh, with her mind satan had messed up her mind to make it very difficult for her to learn at school and then the lord showed me that there were demonic spirits that were behind that you know like it was like a a, a witchcraft spirit that was attacking the girl like some witches were attacking her with that you know and targeting her with that demonic spirit and so i i prayed for that girl uh that day and when i went to bed in the night then when i lay down i saw the agents of satan like very angry with me for praying for the girl to be set free and then they came they, they i saw them entering my house of course spiritually and then they came to where i was lying down and then they they came to my bed and then they were very angry and then they they were like why did you pray for this girl why did you pray for her you need to stop leave her alone don't pray for her and then I woke up, you know, and I rebuked them. But when I went back to bed, like, I, I kept on, like, having bad dreams, like nightmares. They kept, they were not even dreams, you know. It's more like I was seeing what was happening. They kept coming back, like, trying to attack me. And then I woke up in the night, and then I, I prayed, and, and I asked the Lord Jesus for his protection. And then what happened next was when I just laid down my head on the bed, even before I fell asleep, all of a sudden i saw two very huge angels that the moment that i saw them i knew immediately that these were warrior angels you know that they were specialized for warfare the angel's skin was golden it, it looked golden you know and they had this glow like all over their skin it, it had that you know like that glow from their faces the whole body it was glowing and in the and then they wore these glorious robes and then in their hands they both had very huge swords and they just descended down to my bed one landed like near my head area and then the other the other angel landed near just next to my feet you know next to my bed and then they didn't even say anything but when they just landed there, I knew that God had sent them to come and protect me from those agents of darkness that were, tra that were harassing me. And then the angels both drew out their swords and I was just lying there, you know, like it's more like I was just like shocked at what was happening and at, at what I was seeing. And the, and the angels both drew out their swords and then like right before me, like I'm lying down here and they are standing here. And then they drew out their swords and just crossed them like this, you know, um, like this, like to make an X, like right here in front of me. And then I knew that that was like a sign, a sign to the enemy to say, don't dare come, you know, like don't dare come near her, like don't dare come close, you know. And then, we, and then when I just saw that, and then I was, I remember I was overcome by sleep and then that's how I just slept. And then I woke up in the morning and I had a peaceful night. Like th those agents of darkness that were attacking me didn't come back. So the, the next testimony that I want to give about angelic protection is at my parents' house, we had like a, a habit, a family habit, like to pray together in the morning when we wake up and also before going to bed and at midnight so there was a pastor who was visiting and then um when we woke up for midnight prayer of course the pastor didn't wake up with us but he said that he heard us praying you know he was in his room and so he later gave a testimony that when he was in his room you know after he heard us praying and then we when we finished praying we went back to bed to sleep and then he said that he saw an angel like dressed in a long white robe 
And when he saw the angel, he knew that the angel had been sent to come and protect us while we were asleep. And the design of my parents' house, like where we were living at the time, was all the bedrooms were along one passage. Yeah, so there was like my parents' bedroom this side, uh, our bedroom this side, like me and my sisters, and then the bedroom where the pastor was sleeping was like this side. Then further down the the corridor or the passage there was another bedroom like at the end and so the angel kept patrolling like from one end of the passage to the to the other end and he said that the angel looked so busy like just keeping vigil he was so busy just keeping vigil he just kept walking you know to make sure that the, all the doors are secured he would just move from one end to the other and just like that and the pastor said how I was so shocked you know at how God is so protective of his children because he said that he saw it like he got up in bed and then all of a sudden his spiritual eyes opened and then he could see like beyond the walls because obviously there's a wall like between the passage and and his bedroom but when he he woke up and then suddenly his spiritual eyes opened and and then he could see the angel moving from one end to the other end just like that like throughout he didn't do anything else he just wanted to make sure that all our rooms are secured that all the entrances to our bedrooms are all secured and that's so encouraging you know it shows us how protective god is of us like we had no idea that was happening we had no idea there was even an angel who was patrolling the passage and if the, if god didn't show that to the pastor like we wouldn't even know you know but it shows us that whether we're aware of it or not like god is so defensive god is so protective of us like we have no reason to fear the enemy we have no reason to be intimidated like god is there and god is able to keep us safe you know like he protects us even in times when we have no idea even even when we're not even expecting it you know you don't have to see an angel be before you know that god that god is protecting you you know god is protecting you and sometimes we don't even notice it but god is so good and i just wanted to share this testimony with you all so that you may be encouraged and know that you have no reason to fear and jesus said that you can actually sleep like a baby in the midst of this of the sea just because god is with you because he will never leave us he will never forsake us god bless you all